Hey there, it's J-Rod here for Rich Retirement TV, and today we are staying the course. I've got three great-looking tech breakout stocks for you, and uh, I'm going to put this question to bed right now. Stocks are not dead. They're not. Taking a breather after a phenomenal run higher off of a very uh, sharp low, thanks to the COVID crash, uh, but the growth is here to stay. Uh, I could go into all the reasons why the, the, the recent pullback in stocks is a, is a temporary thing, but I'll just say this. I don't care what's going on in the treasuries market. I don't care what's going on in the gold market. Frankly, I don't care about very much else than the areas of the market where I can put my money and get a good return on them, right? Period. Tech stocks is where that's happening. The smaller the tech stock, the more phenomenal the return. And we're seeing these stocks hold up very well compared to the others, uh, you know, the, the, the broader market at large. Uh, and really, it doesn't matter whether it's raining outside or the sun is shining. Tech stocks are making it easier for us to do things as humans. They do things easier, do things cheaper, uh, and help us live longer. Uh, as, long as, as long as companies in that space are, are doing that and, and really making the world a better place, that's that's where we want to be, and that's where wealth building opportunities lie. And today, I got three great breakouts in this space for us to take a look at. So, rest your fears if you've got them, and let's take a look at some breakouts. All right. So, first stock on my list is Zedge Incorporated. They are a smartphone uh, customization software company, and they are doing phenomenal things if uh if that's you talk about a growth stock this is this is the growth stock of growth stocks they've had spectacular uh growth in the company they got 35 million active users uh you know they go in and you can do a lot of customization uh to your phone and these guys are they're uh, specializing in it uh they're uh but they got 35 million active users uh and they're projected this is crazy they're projected to see revenue grow 75 to 80 percent in 2021 alone that's that's incredible uh the stock is up 145 percent year to date and it's up more than 1400 percent in the last year yes you heard that right 1400 percent in the last year uh you take a look at the chart here it's beautiful this is beautiful lower left to the upper right uh, i mean just in the last couple of days here, you see the stock break out above $14. Uh, and you see it's, uh, let me pull up my uh, pull up my drawing tool here. You've got uh, the, the upper end of this, this brief horizontal channel forming here uh, between $14 and nine. My price target on this stock is $20. You take that, uh, that range from 14 to nine, it's $5. Uh, you slap it on top of 14, it gives you roughly Roughly nineteen dollars. We round up to twenty because it's a nice round number. Uh, it's twenty five percent upside from where the stock is trading now. And again, you know, if if I don't think you can get a better looking uh, growth stock than this. I mean, the stock's trading for again just just above fourteen dollars a share. Uh, a lot of upside here. So the growth stock's very much not dead. Let's take a look at another fantastic looking growth stock, USA. Technologies Incorporated. They are a, a tech company that focuses on uh, facilitating digital payments. And you know I love these kinds of stocks. We've, we've profiled a couple of other uh, fintech companies in the last couple of weeks. Uh, and this is where the momentum is. As people are getting out into the world, they're spending money. Or as they're sitting at home wishing they could be out in the world, they're spending money. So I want to own the companies that are making those transactions happen more frictionless than ever before. And you take a look at it, USA Technologies, it is the opposite of friction. It is smashing through barriers. You take a look here, uh, the range of the stock between 1150 and 950, the stock just smashes uh, through that 1150 level. Uh, my price target on the stock is uh, 1350 in the short term, and that's the, uh, the $2.50 range. Uh, between 1150 and 950 you take 250 on top of that uh that gives you 1350 and uh we're almost really i mean got almost halfway there 
uh, this today is uh, Tuesday, so uh, on Monday, got halfway there. Take a little bit of pullback today, but uh, I expect that's short term. Short term pullback, uh, but yeah, once we get to thirteen fifty, I see the stock breaking out to uh, to fifteen easily, and then uh, again, if this momentum continues to push here, uh, we could see a, a rise all the way up to uh, to twenty dollars a share. Uh, so the upside, just in the uh, in the near term, uh, big t- 10, 10 and twenty percent. Uh, you know, you take a look that, and really, it's momentum that's uh, that's behind this move here. Let's let's zoom out a little bit long term. Uh, this isn't a flash in the pan. Uh, the stock is up 20% in the last month. It's up 200% in the last year. And if you want to take a look at breakouts here, so we've looked at the short-term breakout here in the last uh, in the last couple of uh, months here. But take a look at this. You see, the the stock not only break broke out of that 1150, it broke out of a longer-term downtrend. You know, it extends from the high in 2018. You know, to uh, you know, you see tests of this uh, of this downtrend line. Uh, you know, in in uh, late uh, late 2020, and then again here. But just again, just look at the smash through. This is this is amazing. The last last week, the stock puts up 20 percent, blasts through, uh, blasts through the that 1150 level and the downtrend line on above average volume. That's something we really uh, gives you gives you real confidence behind the move higher but again you know you, you, there's uh, a lot of momentum pushing this stock higher uh, a lot of levels of support here uh, to hold USAT up and uh, fintech uh, it's only going up it's not going down there are more payments to be made and more uh, more need for us to facilitate these transactions faster than ever so uh, look for a big move higher in USAT another stock is trading less than fifteen dollars a lot to love here Let's take a look at the last stock on my list, Cisco. Uh, Cisco's not a small name, uh, big multi-billion dollar company, uh, but Cisco Systems is uh, still one of the biggest companies in the hardware uh, networking space, and now uh, you know facilitating a lot of the cloud, uh, you know through their through their networks and their network technology, facilitating a lot of the cloud. Uh, the cloud computing software, you know, that's that's taking place now. That's again the next kind of move higher in uh, in tech. But uh, you take a look at the stock, which is what we want to do here. Uh, you, you see just this beautiful ascending triangle pattern. Uh, if you follow my videos for a while, you know I love this pattern. This is where we have a stock that's uh, that's kind of pushing up against a ceiling. Uh, you, know, you see that ceiling here for Cisco is forty nine dollars a share. Uh, but you see, as the stock pulls back, uh, uh, you know from these from the test here, it's making low or higher highs as it moves higher, which tells you that uh, the momentum is building. Uh, you know the 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 dips are are merely pullbacks or they're merely buying opportunities as the uh, the stock approaches this uh, this upper boundary. And when you see enough of that, uh, enough buyers come in. Uh, as you get closer to the upper bound, you see the stock explode, uh, which is exactly what we saw in the last couple of days here. Uh, you, you see a, a break here above $49 on above average volume. Uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful sight here. Uh, and really, uh, you take, you know, the, the my, uh, you could take the, create a price target using the two, uh, the two values here, you got the upper bound here at 49 and you've got the lower bound here right around 36. My price target on the stock is the uh, is the range from those two, which is uh, roughly. Uh, so uh, my price target is $85. Uh, that's uh, that gives a 75 percent upside from uh, from where the stock is trading now. And again, you know, this is a huge company, uh, you know, offering the, the kind of upside a lot of upside there and it, uh, this is another momentum stock uh you know pushing pushing higher stocks up 11 percent uh versus a two percent rise in the uh in the nasdaq over the same uh, same period of time you got a lot of uh, layers of support here uh to uh, send the stock higher and if you watched my video last week uh it is also cisco a dividend payer in the tech space, which is rare. Uh, last uh, I looked, uh, their yield was uh, their dividend yield is three percent, which is still well above what you can capture on the ten-year Treasury 
or in a bank account, which is basically zip, uh, which is another reason why uh, we really want to stay in stocks. There really is no alternative. And again, if you want to look at the best stocks to be in, tech stocks are the way to go. Uh, and even though uh, Cisco, the stock we're looking at right now, isn't a small cap like uh, USA Technologies or Zedge Incorporated, it's still a breakout opportunity. And these breakouts uh, are the best way to get into stocks because you have that le- you've got that level of support, uh, you know, in in the charting space, uh, you know, in the technical analysis world of, uh, of stocks, uh, where you see uh, stocks break out of resistance and that resistance becomes support, uh, that, that is exactly the best time you want to be in stocks. It gives you that level of safety and momentum, uh, you know, pushing the stock higher. So a lot to love here in these three stocks. So again, uh, you know, take a closer look here, but these are three very good breakouts, bucking the, the, the trend in stocks downward, uh, and, you know, pointing the way higher. Uh, so thank you so much for uh, for watching today's video. Again, take a look at these stocks, Cisco, USA, and Zedge, uh, ticker Z-E-D-G. Uh, and for, uh, for Rich Retirement TV, I'm J-Rod, and we'll see you next week.